Safety Blues. Safety Blues. <laughs> it's in with the microphone. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the fifth ever episode of PVTV. That's right, five of them. I'm Becca. I'm Justin. And I am Ian. On this week's episode, we're going to be talking about battery safety, a topic given to us by uh, none other than James Werlein. Werlein, sorry if I butchered that, but uh, congratulations, you will be receiving a free 120 mil of our house e-liquid for us picking your comment. Yes, please be sure to contact us. Yes, please do. So, you may be asking yourself, why do I care about battery safety? Ian? Uh, I personally care about battery safety because nowadays there are so many different types of batteries that are coming out on the market. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are rewraps of other batteries, but you have to be very vigilant on the battery that you use because not all batteries are made the same. Correct. Um, I personally like my Sony's and Samsung's. LG's are great. Um, I believe MXJOs are rewraps. Uh, they all have different amperage rating. They all have different types of chemistry. They all have, uh, there's IMR, ICR, INR. Uh, they all fail in different ways. Some explode, some vent, some just leak battery acid. So please educate yourself. If you don't know the difference, look it up. It's very important. Because if the vape shop that you shop at is uneducated, they can very well hand you a battery that is uh, a lower amperage rating than what you need. It's super important. Generally, you're looking probably around 30 to 35, depending on what you're doing. If you're, if you're putting your battery into a Mac mod, you want around 30 to 35 amp rating on your battery. So essentially, what can happen is if, you, <clears throat> if the, the draw from your build is drawing more than the amperage rated on your battery, <clears throat> Essentially, it could turn your battery into a pipe bomb. Your, yeah. your battery could literally vent, uh, causing it to explode if there's nowhere for the pressure to go in your mod, which we'll get into as far as venting, vent holes on your battery, on your mods. But yeah, I mean, it, it can be really serious stuff, it, you know, especially has been seen in the news as of late. There was the thing, the guy was at a convention, or he put the Atlantis on his... It's hybrid mod. It's hybrid mod, um, and it launched into a ceiling. It's, it's yeah. serious stuff. You want to make sure you know what you're doing. So that's a couple of the things that we're going to cover in this video is... Absolutely. Hybrid safety, battery safety, you have to know what you're doing. Because, unfortunately, in today's world, vape shops don't know what they're doing. Especially with them. They're, I mean, they're, they're popping up like wildfire. I mean, shops are just launching up everywhere. Especially, I mean, even in, in our community, you know what I mean? There's, I mean... Three I think three shops. have opened literally in the past maybe month. Yeah. There's three new new shops. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, you, you don't know if these people are educated to be selling you the stuff that they're selling. So, I mean, it, it always helps to do your own research with anything, you know, so. They could be giving laptop batteries, you know, those long laptop batteries. You can rip those open. There's 18650s in there. Guess what? They're 5 amp batteries. Not you put those in your mech mod. Bye. Have fun. I mean, unless you're wrapping up you're gonna be doing a 5 bunch of ohm coil. That's... Mm -hmm never gonna heat up. You're gonna be getting nubby with it. Yeah. You don't wanna get nubby yeah. with it. <laughs> you like so, your fingers. Yes, I love fingers. So, <laughs> first off, I guess we'll do, uh, when, when you when you go into your vape shop and you, and you buy yourself batteries, or even before you purchase them, you know, give them a visual scan. You know? Absolutely. Visual scan, if you've ever been to Six Flags. I will scan. Uh, pull out my battery here. Here's so a, things that we're looking a for. A very good battery. I will always look over the entire battery, find out what battery it is first and foremost, because uh, some don't have it written on there. There's a sticker. Make sure it's authentic. Um, I always check that the wrapper and the insulator are all intact on the top and the bottom. That way you don't get any shorts on the sides. Make sure that there's no arcing on the top. You'll know that there's arcing when there's black spots on the top and black the bottom. Black spots on your nipple. Yeah, and you definitely so you don't want that. You don't want a dented <laughs> nipple. You don't want a dented bottom either. That'll no. cause contact issues. Like the pretty perfect nipples. Yes. Pretty perfect nipples. So yeah, essentially what can happen is if, if there's tears in either, like Ian said, in the bottom or the top or even the side, when you're <clears throat> when you're putting a battery into a, into a tube mod, you know, something like this, if that battery catches contact with the sod side of your, your mod itself, that itself can complete the circuit, which will cause your mod to auto fire, which yeah. if it's in your car and you run into the mall, you come out and fire, you know, <laughs> it's, <clears throat> it's bad stuff. You know, you, you just, you definitely want to give your batteries a visual scan, make sure they look clean, make sure the, the wraps are fully intact. There's Absolutely. no nicks and removed spots. 
And if there are, call your local vape shop. They may have a rewrap option available. Yes. Super cheap option. You don't have to rebuy re a new battery. Oh. It may cost you a dollar or two. So order some rewraps. It can be done with if you have a heat gun or a, a blow dryer. Even yeah. you can you can rewrap your own batteries. Definitely. Absolutely. But it, safety is paramount. Yes. Especially with the batteries. Yes. Um, another thing would be since we have them here, hybrid mods. So a hybrid mechanical is essentially a two mod, just like any other two mod. The only difference is in your top 510 connection, there is no firing pin. So what happens is, is your atomizer will screw on and the firing pin in your atomizer will touch directly to your battery. One thing you want to watch with this is certain atomizers, certain tanks, especially we know for a fact that the Atlantis uh, from Aspire is one that you do not want to use. The problem is, is that it's so flush that yep. your ring the firing pin, you can't really see it on here, Correct. but the firing pin and the negative, which is the ring on the outside, are flush. They make connection at the same time, causes a short, your battery heats up, vents, That's not good. Not good. It's been a story like we talked about in the beginning of the episode of the guy launching his entire setup into his drywall. Yep. You know, luckily it, it, the pressure from the battery venting found somewhere to go other than through the, the metal and it vented out and essentially just launched his mod into his ceiling. But should there not have been vent holes in your mod, which is another thing you want to look at, especially with mechanical mods, you know, some kind of, generally there's holes drilled in this one here. There's, you know, yeah. they have a nice ring of holes here. All that is for is if should the battery vent, it gives the pressure somewhere to go so it doesn't go out. If it goes out, you're getting shrapnel through your hand. If you have a hand left, you know, it's, yes. it, it sounds like we're, we're commentating on a episode of like Saving Private Ryan, yeah. but it's serious. You know, yeah. you, you don't want- It's a super serious thing that could definitely yeah, happen. Don't want batteries venting. It's definitely something that you want to keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, the last thing I'm going to want to talk about is how you build. Battery safety yeah. and your build is super, super important. Goes back to the amp draw. The amperage. That's what you need to worry about. There's a wonderful, wonderful app you can download on your phone. It's called Steam Engine. Yes. It tells you essentially what you need to build to be safe. It'll tell you the amperage draw on your battery for the coil build that you input. It's the easiest app I've ever seen used ever. It's great. Um, the pulse rating. Definitely look up the pulse and continuous rating on your batteries. There is a huge, huge difference. Pulse rating on batteries are different for each battery. I believe uh, the Samsung pulse rating is under one second to get that 100 amp pulse, but it drops to, down to, I believe, 60 amps after six seconds. So that's, that's their pulse rating, but the VTC5's pulse rating is 30 seconds. So it's, you need to know. The more you know. <laughs> uh, on, on the topic of hybrid mods, should you have a hybrid mod and you want to use something like the Atlantis or, or just anything to be safe, mm. they do make, thank you, dear. You're welcome. A 510 hybrid connector. So all this is is the base of an atomizer with a firing pin in it. And all it does is it screws into your hybrid mod and gives you a firing pin essentially. It gives you what is missing from the hybrid mod if you want to use your Atlanta. So it makes it safe to use something that could possibly hard short on a hybrid, uh, a hybrid mechanical mod, mod you know, and it makes it safe to use. It, it puts that barrier in between the negative and the firing pin on the tank to your battery, makes it a lot safer to use. You know, it's definitely usable with something like- All is not these. lost. We have options. We do have options. So definitely if, if, you know, if a hybrid mod is something that you're looking at, ask your local vape shop, check on the line. You know, it's definitely something good to invest in. It's good to have around the house. Absolutely. You know, you never know when you might need one of those, especially if you own a hybrid mechanical mod. Yeah, and hybrid mods are absolutely fantastic. I love hybrid mods because it eliminates a piece of metal, which eliminates voltage drop. And me and voltage drop don't get along very well. <laughs> I hate my voltage drop. Yes. And as long as you're, you're using the right atomizer, you know, they hit like a champ. They, I they mean, they, they hit generally considerably harder than something with a firing, a firing pin. pin in it. So, you know, they're a nice way to go. You just want to make sure that you're doing it the right way, you know, and you're not putting stuff. They probably shouldn't be on there, on there. We don't want to see anybody's batteries vent. We don't want picture comments of mangles. Mangles. <laughs> we don't want mangles yeah. on our comments. Is there anything else anybody else wanted to touch on as far as... I believe I have everything I, I wanted to say out to the viewers. It's out there? Yeah. How about you, dear? Anything? 
I think you guys covered it all. We covered most of it. Most That's of what it. I do on large. I cover things. Awesome. So then I think we should get into the other giveaway that we have we for today. Have a giveaway. Yes. All right. We're In our last some... episode, yes. we were going to pick one lucky subscriber to win the authentic Onyx. Onyx mod. That was White given to us by Onyx Nick mod. Woods. Thank you very, very much. Yes, again, thank you very sir. much, Nick Woods. It was very nice that. of you. It was greatly appreciated. All right. So, to With pick that, our lucky winner, we are going to use random.org. Random.org. Our good old friend random.org. Yes, they're super awesome and convenient to use and super easy to use. You just type in all of the names, click a few buttons, and it randomizes everything. All right. So we have that set up. We told you last week to make sure you subscribe. So everyone who did subscribe, we entered their name into this fancy gadget here. Make sure you start at the bottom of that list and let's scroll all I'm the way I'm not up. proficient in this laptop, so I don't know where your little... Uh, what is this, is, are you using the nubby as a mouse? <laughs> I, I am, because mine... Nobody I uses that. This. Okay. Yeah, nobody uses that thing right. as an actual right. mouse. So we're going to show you that there are every one of our subscribers' names is in there. You want to scroll through that real quick, you can see everybody. So what we're going to do is we're going to randomize this list three times. At the end of the third time, whoever is at the top of the list, you will be receiving an authentic Onyx mod as long as you're 18 years and older and can prove it. So, oh. randomize number one, Bagoom. Scroll to the bottom of 100 and something names real quick. Mm, there we go, it's one time. Again. One time, one time with the Fugees. Time two. Times two. And. Last time, time, last time. time. Zach Mittens. All right, Zach. You are the proud new owner, hopefully, of oh. the Onyx mod. So congratulations to you. Thank you for subscribing. We greatly appreciate that it. That thing is beautiful. It is very, very nice. Uh, to anyone who hasn't subscribed, this is the first episode of PVTV that you're watching. Make sure you subscribe. We do yes, tons please. of giveaways. We like giving stuff away. It's fun. You know, yeah, it's yeah. totally fun. If if you do subscribe and you leave a comment on a topic you want us to talk about, we pick your topic. You receive a free 120 mil bottle of juice. So there's really nothing for you to lose. So please, we greatly appreciate all the likes and subscriptions. And don't forget, you can comment a topic on any on of our videos. We any check video. every video every week if we want to pick one of those topics. Like every 30 seconds. Yeah. Like every 30 so, seconds. So. Don't think you have to go to that specific video. Any video will suffice. Any we will, will find it and we will use it. We have a large staff of people that go through and read all of the comments on all of the videos to pick a topic for the following week. So yeah, it's mostly us. Um, but yes, we're, we're pretty, I'm large, so technically we have a large staff. <laughs> um, so yes, so make sure you like, subscribe, and leave the comments. Till next week, I am Justin. I am Becca. And I am Ian. And have a wonderful night from PVTV. Vape safe! And hitting all the buttons. Yeah, and the so bits. It's up to you though. I don't <laughs> care. I just like me to hear. As long as it's clear what's, what's being said, I'm going to yeah. sure. Making our own bits. All right.